All right, today we are talking about ARB locations. Uh, if you have a compressor, there are a couple of different places you can mount it under the hood. You can mount it in the back of the truck, but I want to focus mainly um, under the hood, and the reason for that is the wiring is close, the firewall is close, so you can run your switch, uh, your switches directly to the locations in your cab, and then um, the hood obviously offers some protection because it's covered. It's a covered area. So let's get to it. I'm going to show you three or four locations I've come up with and then what I decided on. The first location in the one that seems to be real popular from the last year of a couple of installs, there's some brackets you can purchase online uh, from guys like Way of Life and um, it's a great install. It's right behind this, this uh, driver's side panel you have this void behind the wheel well and rather than go and tear it into my Jeep which is something I've already done I don't want to do it again I am going to show you guys kind of what they're talking about without maybe ripping my Jeep apart so much if you can see the location here there's uh, plenty of real estate down here behind just under the brake booster and around that location where there's um, where the silver panels are that are protecting the, the footwell from heat and the exhaust. The location uh, is a great location. It's got plenty of room behind that fender that I just showed you on the driver's side. The only thing I don't care so much about this location is the heat. Uh, you can do a heat shield as much of this down here is already heat, has heat shield. Um, but it also is going to be more susceptible to water and mud since it's lower to the ground, obviously, and dust. Uh, also, if I want to service it, then I have to get in my wheel well, and the location seems to be, for me, kind of a no-go, just because uh, catalytic converters are designed to get red hot. They convert your uh, noxious gases coming out of the engine into something less harmful for the environment. In order to do that, the engine has to run lean to start, gets this catalytic converter red hot, and then the uh, components inside that are made up of several um, metals, uh, platinum, things like that, uh, that make these catalytic converters so expensive, they're designed to get red hot so that that, com that conversion um, works for the exhaust. And so I don't think that's a great location unless you're doing some extensive heat shielding. The ARBs are built great, but I want them to last. So this here is uh, a no-go for me. The next location is right here. You can, um, I fabbed up a, or at least I used um, uh, some cardboard to kind of get an idea of what I could do over here. I was going to build a bracket that would come across here with a, a piece of plate aluminum and sit here flat and then the pump would mount on that. And the pump is maneuverable. You can move the, you can move it around. It has a lot of kind of uh, functionality built into it so you can make it fit your, your location and it would lay flat here. Uh, that probably would be my second favorite location. Um, just because it's right here, it's easily accessible up high. But if you have any kind of accessories here, like the S-Pod or the Rough Country switches or anything that mounts in this location that gives you that switch uh, case, uh, the switch solenoids right here in your, in your relays, uh, that's going to kind of be a deal breaker for you because obviously that location's uh, utilized for other things and maybe future mods if you want. Uh, so that again was kind of like a, it would work, but then I'd have to fab a bracket, wait for that to get built. And then I would lose that location uh, in the future if I wanted to put a switch box there uh, for accessories, which I do think that might happen eventually. So that was a no-go for me as well. I started to rip into my Jeep and I took uh, several measurements and locations of where I might be able to put my compressor. And then this is in front of the alternator, so I'm looking, f this is forward of the truck. And this is your air, uh, this is your intake plenum uh, going to your airbox. So it's just the, the tube that's next to the airbox right here. So I'm at the front of the Jeep. If you look down in here, there's a nice big void. There's a bracket you can build to install it here. I had a bracket put in there, but then I had, I really couldn't get to the, the chuck and the tire fill so that I could uh, locate the pump down inside here. There's a ton of room under this thing. And it's right be right between the radiator and the engine, so there's a lot of void right there. It would have really kept the compressor cold, uh, and the brackets, there's tons of bolts in the front of the engine. That might work for some people, and I really like that location, but I just couldn't get my hand in there 
to service the lockers or to service the uh, the chuck so that I could fill my tires up. I could have relocated the, the chuck with a, a hose and then ran it to the bumper or something like, uh, like ARB has some options. But um, this year was again kind of a deal breaker for me just because of how uh, difficult it would have been to access that location if I had to service it. Lastly, every now and then you get this great idea, everything just comes together and it's probably going to be one of those most repeated things in the Jeep community because of just how simple it is. A lot of times we love to build our trucks, but we want to do it in a way that it's functional, it looks good, and it just plain works. This is that location. If you remove the cover off of the top of your engine, not only do I think it looks cool, I, I like the way the, the intake uh, manifold looks, and um, remove the, I removed the brackets back here off the intake. Uh, the cover here is kind of a sound deadening material. It helps with the ticking that's known for these engines. It's not a problem. It's just a noise that is normal with the lifters on this, on this uh, very advanced engine. Um, the uh, bracket that was here I removed and I removed the, the cover of the engine. What that did was freed up a bracket over here that has a perfect flat level location and two bolts that allow me to install the stock ARB hardware here and on the other side and then they're rubber isolated here, here and then two more on the other side. These uh, with some torque bits and I believe it was 10 millimeter uh, allowed me to install this thing in a solid location. The intake of the ARB is up high in the fender or in the top of the Jeep's uh, hood so I'm not sucking in water dirt and mud it's at the highest location and I'm getting cool air blowing over it from the fan down here over the engine so for that alone this probably is going to become like the de facto location for JL and uh, in my opinion the Gladiator there's just no better way to set this thing up the brackets there the bolt, it literally bolts in, your battery's right here, the wiring circles the battery, it sits all in the tray, the location for the solenoids are all right here. I can service my air lockers, solenoids, I've got my chuck right here for my tire fill, it sits below the level of the hood, and I'm getting cool air and I'm getting it out of the mud, water, and dirt. Uh, I can't recommend a better spot. I've been digging around in my Jeep for a couple days, I wasted a tremendous amount of time and I thought, Man, this has to be, we have to tell the community, community about this. This is just a really cool location for an ARB compressor. And not only that, it looks cool. You're showing it off, you're opening your hood. Hey, this is how I, you know, I just got off the trail. This is how I'm filling my tires up. Uh, really neat idea. Jeep literally gave you the bracket. It's already there. It's a bolt-on application. And this is the CDMA compressor. Um, I purchased this through Summit Racing. Um, not affiliated with either of them, but uh, when it comes to a nice product, I love sharing what I find works, and this just plain works. So, like, subscribe, leave me some comments, let me know what you guys think, and uh, we will move on with the locker install next, and the uh, uh, you know, follow me along and give me some advice, and I'll be glad to uh, answer your questions and also make videos for the things that you guys want to see. Thanks.